Darren Bailey here with the Irish Farmers Journal. I'm standing in front of the latest offering from McCormack, the X7 650 Efficient model. What does efficient mean? Basically, the importers in Ireland DNS machinery went to McCormack and asked them for a simplified six cylinder tractor for customers that demand the torque back up of a six cylinder tractor without the bells and whistles associated with some of the bigger brands. Um, tractor itself, as you can see, quite a substantial tractor. Um, new styling, new uh, purpose built cab from McCormack themselves. Starting at the front of the tractor, we have a Carrero front axle suspension system, which is mated to a full length chassis. The engine is mounted into the chassis um, on bushings or on engine mounts, which McCormack say reduces vibration and engine noise into the cab. Moving back then, the engine itself is a 6.7 litre beta power six cylinder engine, which is very similar to the FPT engine found in New Holland and Case. That engine then is made into a ZF transmission, which is designed and built in Germany by ZF. The transmission itself features six uh, ranges with four power shifts in each range. Uh, moving back then, again, ZF rear end with five brake discs in each axle. Interesting enough on this machine is the the brake system uses uh, cuts the oil from 30 litres to 8 litres over 13 kilometres per hour. What happens is then, as you press the brake, the oil is increased into the brake compartment as needed. This, they say, reduces rolling resistance. Suspension-wise, to couple with the front suspension, we have rear hydraulic suspension on the cab and front bushing mounts on the cab itself. And driving on the road, it is definitely a very comfortable tractor. Cab-wise then, McCormack's own cab, uh, designed by themselves. We'll have a closer look at that now in a second. Um, other than that, as standard, this tractor comes with a four-speed PTO. It comes with a creeper box. Um, it comes with aircon. It has the semi-power shift transmission. It has front suspension and cab suspension. So it might be efficient by name, but it certainly is not skimmed on spec-wise. Um, so, Let's have a quick look around it and, and sit inside. Inside the cab, as you can see, is quite spacious. We have a full length side door. Front windscreen, B pillar is removed, full length on both sides. And same on the other door. Visibility at the rear, quite good. Curved, winds, a curved rear window. Control wise, Starting at the steering wheel, we have our forward and reverse lever here. One fault I can see from this tractor myself personally is when you're driving, the steering wheel is actually in line with your dials, making them nearly impossible to read as you're going. Moving across then, controller, we have our, our power shift here, up and down. We have one spool valve here electrically. We have our lift toggle switch up and down. Takes a little bit of getting used to, to be honest. We have a D-clutch button, engine management, uh, set your revs, and this APS button. This is interesting. There's three modes in the transmission. There's manual, which means that we control up and down through the ranges and the power shifts here, and by a button at the rear to go between different ranges. You hold that and press up on your power shift and it'll go through the range. You can go auto field, which will control the power shifts automatically, but to change the ranges, you have to hold the button at the back and press up, and then you have auto road, which is the last feature, and that does both the ranges and the power shifts itself. Moving across then, we have our PTO, four speed PTO on this machine, auto PTO, which you can, you can set to turn on and off itself according on the lift height. Moving back, it should be noted there's a safety feature on this tractor that if you're agitating for example or any other application where you're getting out of the machine with the PTO running you have to let it know that you are leaving the seat so you hold that button down before you leave the tractor and it'll keep the PTO running this is a safety feature uh, you can lock your hydraulics as well here another safety feature front suspension on and off differential lock four-wheel drive again we have one spool valve, as I mentioned here, on the armrest, and the other three then are manual spool valves here on the console. Moving back then, you have your lift. You can set 
all your different parameters and speeds. Creeper transmission, four speed PTO, and then down here, beside the seat, you have your, your trip for your hitch. Electrical connections for monitors, both here and up front, the standard cigarette lighter. Up top, all your lights together, along with a, a substantial radio. Cup holder on the pillar, coat hook. If working with a front loader, then we have a, a sky roof, a skylight, which is open, it can be open to let in fresh air. Often something that is neglected on some manufacturers because being a full side window, you cannot open to let in fresh air. So it's a nice feature to have that there to let in some fresh air. <coughs> Keeping you comfortable during your work is a uh, four speed fan, air conditioning and heater. Moving down then we have a glove box for a storage compartment and quite a big comfortable passenger seat. Access in and out of the cab is quite good, doors are good and wide, open back far enough. Have to say visibility definitely no issues there. Comfort wise on the road super super tractor comfort wise. Uh, interesting feature on the transmission is on the sixth range in the third power shift which is second from top you can achieve your top speed of 40k at increased engine revs um, if it's not needed if the extra torque is not needed um, the you can close you can change up to 64 which is top speed again top speed of 40k but with a reduced engine revs of in around 1500 as opposed to 1800 so thus saving fuel a slight flaw for me cab wise when you're driving is the steering wheel itself gets in your eye line for the for the dash but you can't see your temperature or your diesel level without stooping down now maybe it's because i'm tall but it's it's quite a, it gets quite annoying after a while the indicator switch is hidden in under the steering wheel and same with the win window wipers they're kind of they're awkward enough to get in at and the last gripe i have is the uh, the handbrake lever down here to my side is very it's very agricultural, we call it. It's just, it didn't get much refinement like the rest of the chapter. But all in all, I mean, I'm pleasantly surprised, to be honest. Um, I can see where they're going, I can see the idea. It's, it should prove to be a good seller, I'd imagine. And I'm excited to to get behind the wheel here and, and test it and see how it actually does perform, both towing and in field.
take it down and go down to one position. Yeah. This can be set with the auto PTO function as well. So predetermined height, PTO will turn on and turn off as you let up and down the implement. Or reverse shuttle, very easy, close to fingers. Quite a comfortable tractor for doing any kind of applications in the field. That's all for a lift.